Hey everyone, by the end of this video, you will know what the term acid means and what it means in Integromat. My name is Dominic Lehnert, let's get right into it. I will first be looking at the acid term in a non-technical perspective. So if you don't want all the technical details, you can just watch the beginning. And if you want slightly more technical details or more of the background of, of where acid comes from, you can stay until the end and I will give you all that information. Let's get right into it. So if we look at Integromat, over here at Integromat, we have a sample workflow and if we, uh, sorry, scenario. And if we want to add new elements, we want to add new modules to the workflow, you might have noticed that some modules have this little acid tag. So what does this acid tag mean? So acid stands for a few characteristics, but I think in terms of Integromat from a non-technical perspective, the most interesting one is the atomic. So the A of the acid. And this basically means if you execute something, a command. So for example, you execute a search to the um, to your Google Sheets and you're looking for a specific row, or you would do an update call on a Google Sheet. That means that the whole thing is done or nothing. So basically, if you have a whole scenario and you imagine you have multiple things you do in the scenario. So you up, let's say you get a webhook, you, you have a webhook in the beginning, you get some information, you get triggered, and then you want to update three different spreadsheets. So if this would be acid conform, it would be that, let's say you update the first spreadsheet, you update the second spreadsheet while running the scenario. And then in the third spreadsheet, something goes wrong. If it, what you would want to happen now is that it would roll back everything it did in the first and the second. So the first and the second spreadsheet are there like nothing happened. Because if you now would, if, if you later go back and see, oh, there was an error when running the scenario, what you would want to be able to do is maybe just press run again and then it would try to do it again and maybe this time it works. But if it has already made the changes in the first and the second spreadsheet, it might actually break down here as well. And you don't know, actually know which state they are in. So if your, your scenario breaks down in the middle somewhere, you don't actually know what state the, the, the Google spreadsheets are in. And there's some ways to work with this on, um, which I will elaborate on in a different video on error handling. But for the sake of this video, this is kind of what, what the ACID concept revolves around. So you want to be be able to have basically predictability. The, so this is kind of the non-technical explanation. Here in Integromat, all you have to know is when you have ACID as a tag for a module or an operation, you basically know um, it's going to be executed. And if something goes wrong somewhere in the middle of this command, it's going to roll back and it's like nothing happened. So for the slightly more technical explanation now, if we look at this in the technical terms, so ACID is an acronym. It comes from relational databases and it describes basically four characteristics you want your database to have. So you want it to be atomic. Atomic means if something, either the whole operation you want to do. So let's say you want to add a row to a database, either the whole row gets added and everything is done as it should be. So to say, or oh, nothing happens. So you don't want half baked things to happen. And then afterwards, you don't quite know what state your database or your data is in. So you want either everything or nothing. That's atomic. Second one is consistent. So after you've done an operation, you want your database to be left in a consistent state. So this means all the constraints you have in your database, like certain values, certain, certain data types, they are all left intact after you've done your operation. Third one is isolated. So you don't, if you work on a database, you don't want anyone else seeing what you do. Basically, you don't want anyone else knowing what you're doing on this database. And you don't want anyone else to be able to see the operations you're doing on the database and the data you're writing and stuff like that. And the fourth one is you want it to be durable. So this means after you've done your operation, you expect the database to keep that information. So you've, you've talked to your database, you added a row or you updated a row in a database. And then the database sends back the signal, okay, everything is good. I did the change, everything is good. Then you, you would expect if you come back two weeks later, then it's still, everything is good, but no one else can run back the operations you did basically. So it's durable. So this is ACID explained in simple terms in regards to Integromat. My name is Dominic Leonard. Take care and goodbye.